Wild hogs and javelina stirring trouble in two South Texas communities. The cities 70 miles apart and a lot of you live in between them. A Channel 5's Christian Galone with more on the threat to people, plants and pets. That's right, city leaders in Mission say they are trying to deal with an increase in reports of feral hogs bothering residents. It's also a problem in Falfurias, only there is not just feral hogs. Javalinas are also popping up. Roaming around Texas, mostly in rural areas, are two animals that for two cities have become a nuisance. We've had some reports of pets being attacked and a general number of javelinas in individuals' front yards or backyards. City of Alfuria's administrator Melissa Landon says the increase of feral hogs and javelina complaints has left them blindsided and wanting answers from state officials. Texas Parks and Wild Wildlife have advised us that the city can adopt a policy as to how to handle these situations. We're currently working on that. There hasn't been one historically, but we are working very diligently to address the situation. Landon says some of the solutions could be adopting city ordinances of some sort to help decrease the number of complaints. Other solutions, setting up traps or relocating the animals. But what happens if you approach the notorious javelinas or feral hogs? Use common sense. A wild animal is a wild animal. You know, it's going to protect itself if it's, if it's injured, if it's got a litter, uh, or, or if, you, if you try and, and, and mess with it, it's going to protect itself. So just leave them alone. Irasuniga says these animals can charge at you. Their tusks can be dangerous for humans and pets. For javelinas, unintentional food sources such as garbage, pet food, and fruit can all be an attraction. For feral hogs, agricultural crops such as corn, rice, or wheat is their attraction. As they look for that, livestock can also be destroyed. Suniga adds the hog issues in Texas forced the state to recently change the law. It's such a nuisance to landowners that the 86 legislation approved Senate Bill 317 that exempts anyone with landowners consent to hunt these feral hogs without a license. Although a license is not needed for hogs, for javelinas they are considered a game animal and have a season for it. You can go to the to the specific animal, you can javelinas. Zuniga says to find out information on hunting laws for javelinas and hogs, visit the outdoor annual app. Hog traps will be placed in mission sometime this week. Meanwhile, in Falfurias, city leaders and state wildlife experts will meet again before finalizing a plan. In the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 10.